The Smart Warp feature allows you to alter and animate your images not previously possible in Moho and Anime Studio. You can draw meshes around any image, giving you complete control over what moves and what doesn't. In this example, we are using a, well, an awful image of me. <laughs> well, I hope it doesn't scare you. I'm not quite sure why we settled on this image, but, well, it'll work. To get started, you'll first need to create a new layer for your mesh. This will be a vector layer. So we'll come over here, make a new vector. We can name it mesh and make sure it's placed above the image. For your mesh, you'll want to cover the entire image. So it's best to create the points surrounding the image first, or in this case, our hideous head. So we're going to grab the add point tool and come in here and just starting at the top, we'll add some quick points in just to get some groundwork here. Once you make the connection, you can go back through now and add additional points to help shape the mesh around the head. You can add as many points as you need. We're going to try to keep things symmetrical here as it works best when you're trying to alter your results with the mesh. So we'll make sure we cover the hair and make sure everything is looking good. You'll want to cover the eyes next. Let me just fast forward here and you can see that we have those eyes covered. Coming down here to the mouth, once again, we're just going to draw around the mouth just like that. And let's just make sure that the mesh is tight around the head. The next step is to select the Create Shape tool, and you'll want to select the entire mesh making up this image. So we'll just select the entire thing, and then we'll hit Create Shape to create a shape for the mesh. Now, before we continue, we're just going to hide the mesh and come back and add some more points because we want to add more points so we can alter the face in different ways. So we'll start down here and we'll start with the bottom lip. We're just going to add some points for the lip. And as you add points, you can expand them out and add a couple more just to fill things in like you did before for the head. Same goes for the top lip. Add that in. There we go. Got some points there. Let's move everything down to make sure it's all lined up as close as it can be to the lips. We'll add a line for the chin as well. Come up here. Let's add some lines right here and on the other side as well. Just down like this. We'll add some for the nose. And some of these points we are adding will actually help prevent other parts moving. So in the case of the nose, that will help block off the movements from the face. So we'll come in here and we'll just get the nose pretty covered as well as some of the eyebrows because we can move the eyebrows. But because we'll be moving the eyebrows, we should also cover some of the head here. That way that doesn't move. So we'll add some lines to the head here as well as the hairline. That way we can isolate those parts as needed. So we'll actually come down like this just to make sure all of it is covered. There we go. And it's looking good. The next step is to go up to draw and choose triangulate 2D mesh. What this will do is create the mesh so we can see all the points in place. If you toggle the visibility of the mesh, you can see the triangle shapes on the face. From here, if you want, you can go through and check this out, but it's not going to do much yet. You can grab points and move them around if you wish. If we just come over here and let's just try to grab one and even animate it, and you can see it's not doing anything to the face. That's because we need to go into this layer and set up the mesh. So let's double click on the Chad layer, or you can just click on the layer settings button, go into images, down to smart warp layer, and choose mesh. Once you're good, click OK or hit enter. You'll now be able to come in here and alter this mesh using your points.
you can see now it's all cut out and we can go in now and we could create eye blinks or even mouth movements. So you can see right here, we can go in and alter these points in pretty intricate detail. So we can come down here and make our mouth movements and do whatever we want. Using the face as an example, you can make alterations to the mouth very easily. You can drop the jaw. You can move your points around to shrink things in. You can also go into the face with those lines we added before and make further alterations, all while not worrying about other things such as your hair from being altered because everything has been isolated with the points we placed down for that. So you have a lot of control over what's being moved and what's not. You can add eye blinks as well as eyebrow movements and anything else that you can think of. Bones can also be integrated with the mesh to create even more advanced animation results. The Smart Warp feature in Moho Pro 12 is incredibly powerful. It not only opens up new workflows for vectors, but gives you complete control over images. If you'd like more information, tutorials, or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com.